morning, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday morning prayer and devotion. My apologies for coming to you about a minute late here. Um, had a little, just a little bit of technical difficulties and was running behind schedule. But I'm thankful that you're here, and um, I'm glad that I'm here today to be able to take part in this prayer and devotion time with you on this 24th day of November 2020. We have a few praise reports this morning that I'd like to share with you. Uh, first of all, over the weekend, there were 98 COVID recoveries uh, confirmed in Stoddard County. That's a great report. Uh, Cooper Durr's surgery went well yesterday. They're now awaiting biopsy results, so we'll be continuing to pray for Cooper uh, for good results of his biopsy. Uh, Jared Eldris' surgery went well yesterday also. He does have a long road of recovery ahead of him now, so we're going to continue praying for Jared as well. I ask you this morning to uh, pray for peace and comfort for the family of Rick House, who passed over uh, this weekend and was found deceased in his apartment yesterday afternoon. Uh, Rick was um, one of the people that worked with our uh, video production for our church services, and he's going to be missed greatly. So pray for today for his family, especially for Robert and Samantha um, and his grandchildren who need our prayers today. Uh, also, uh, Kathy Ham passed away yesterday. Uh, she's been on hospice for quite some time, so please remember her family in prayer. And also, there were two COVID-related deaths over the weekend here in Stoddard County. So much to pray about for those who have suffered loss, and especially going into this holiday time, uh, so very difficult uh, to lose someone around this time of the year. Those who are battling cancer today, let's continue to pray for Lisa Workman, for Dwayne Lewis, a friend of Terry Adams, Delbert Bryant, Kim Stinson, Lorelei, Caden, Jenna, and Tucker, Evelyn Marshall, Brother Steve Williford, Brother Anthony Trimble, Bercy Gibbs, Linda Fox, David Harris, Claire, Michael Boland, Diane Escher, Wanda Barnes, Ari Bowers, and Josh Soberg. Uh, battling Parkinson's, Ron Bryant, my father, uh, Beulah Ziegler, my mother-in-law, and also Tim Workman, and Russ need our continued prayers as they deal with the effects of Parkinson's disease. Uh, John Vaughn, Jared Eldridge, and Cooper Durr are all recovering from surgery. Jamie Shepard needs continued prayers for her liver and kidney. Uh, baby Elsie Boyd, let's continue to remember that need. Uh, Sally Waller's granddaughter, Magnolia, uh, was fitted with a helmet yesterday, and Sally wants us to pray that she won't have to wear that for very long. Tim Workman and Emily Stanley, are suffering with diabetes. Elder brother and sister Perkins need our continued prayers for their strength and encouragement and for healing. Uh, Renee uh, needs hip and knee surgery. Karen Pratt's father has an aneurysm in his aorta. Cheryl Lachance uh, has a flare-up of bone pain and some other health issues going on. Uh, Rue Bublitz uh, is a multiple transplant recipient and he's dealing with organ rejection issues off and on. Brother Raymond Mason, let's continue to pray for him. At last word, he was still battling with double pneumonia. Shirley Garner has a broken hip and fractured back. Abel Ray is only three years old and is suffering from PKU disorder. Robert Larmy has a blockage in an artery at the base of his brain. Bonnie Pulaski has multiple medical problems. Robbie Northrup and Kendra Ortiz are battling with COPD. Terry Adams' grandson, Ethan, as well as my uncle, Leslie Pride, have some health issues. James Pearson has high blood pressure. Uh, Pastor Marty DeLott has multiple sclerosis. Missionary Robin Schutz's father is needing a heart transplant very desperately. Uh, Britt Moore has back issues. Also, Britt's mother fell and broke her hip recently. Uh, Marsha Moore, Terry Adams, and Michael Parrott are suffering with stomach issues. Phil and Karen Sampson and their family need our continued prayers. We're believing for healing for Caitlin, for God to work in their family issues. Debbie Biddick's friend Shirley and Charlotte Kincaid, both battling with kidney problems. Bill Eldreth has myasthenia gravis and other health issues. Phyllis Robinette needs healing of her eyes. Gary Smith and Debbie um, had stroke recently. In our new COVID-19 request today, 
I don't have any new names to bring you, thankfully, but uh, there were 93 new cases of COVID over the weekend, which fell just a little bit below the um, recovery rate, uh, but there are currently 371 active cases in our county. Uh, several ministers in Belarus and one minister's wife there um, who is on a ventilator need our prayers. Uh, Junior and Dorothy Deaver, this is Sharon Crow's parents, both have COVID. Brother Mickey Lewis's niece is in critical condition and on a ventilator after C-section delivery of her child at eight months gestation. Cricket Lewis has been hospitalized and has required intubation. Let's continue to pray for Larry and Debbie Carter and Matt and Jaden Mitchell, uh, who are all recovering well. Uh, James Weininger has been in the hospital. Uh, John Garcia has been on a ventilator. Tressa Cook has been hospitalized. Charlotte Kincaid's friend has been on a vent. So all of these very serious needs we need to pray for today as pertains to the COVID battle. Brother Carol Metters, Guy and Pat Metters, I have not received an update on them. Uh, so we'll continue to pray. Uh, also for Linda, for Brandon Pendergrass, who is making steady progress. Brent Hill's sister and father. Bishop Roy Barnhill, who has other serious medical issues as well. Mike Carter, Brenda Brining, uh, Carol Dixon's church family, uh, Cypress Point Skilled Nursing Center, both staff and residents have uh, been dealing with an outbreak there. Carmen's cousin Bob, who we've been praying for with COVID, uh, had a very rough day yesterday um, where his oxygen levels uh, dropped and they were talking about putting him on a ventilator once again. Uh, but he pulled through that and is now maintaining appropriate oxygen levels again um, as of what was reported to us last night. So we're thankful for that report, and let's continue to pray for Bob. Jana Harvillan family, Don Bowie in the hospital with COVID-19 pneumonia, Pastor Gary Butler, Sister Julie Zuniga, uh, Andy Burnett has been in the ICU with COVID pneumonia and has been on a ventilator. Laura's friend has been in the hospital with COVID. Gary and Donna. Susan Nicewanger's sister Amy and other family members um, and Brandon Pendergrass is also a family member of Susan. She's had many, many family members affected by COVID and, uh, and lost a couple of people to COVID. So let's continue to remember that family. Debbie Biddick's daughter Jessica has post-COVID issues with her lungs and needs complete healing today. We want to continue praying for those in nursing homes and long-term care facilities as well as the kids at school, um, the teachers, the school bus drivers, all the staff there for their protection. Let's pray for continued recovery today uh, for Gerald Yealy, Nick Searcy, Brandy Bryant, Karen Pratt's mother, Faye Willis, Sylvia Laramore's daughter, Cody Robinette, Sabrina, Co Sabrina Connerly, Donna Reedy, Willow, uh, Jennifer Sokolowski's niece, Allison, Brantley, and Johnny Ray Hagee. All of these are in long-term recovery uh, after having um, severe illnesses or accidents. Uh, spiritual needs this morning, let's continue to pray for Lori Arbo's mother, for Cheryl Lachance's family, Sylvia's family, Art Chandler, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Tasha Ray's husband, and as well as her sister, Judy and Mike Williams' daughter, Jennifer, Peggy Fiedler and her family, Terry Adams' children, Barbara Owens, Beulah's family, Debbie's daughter Jamie and her family, as well as Debbie's niece, Josiah, Mark and Caitlin, Connor, Carl, Rose, Haley, and Evie need continued prayer for salvation. Connor needs deliverance from depression. Carmen's daughter Grace uh, needs the Lord's help today. Caroline Sexton and her family, Jennifer and Brenda's family, and Pam Pulliam's children all have spiritual needs ranging from salvation um, to struggles in their faith and just general need of encouragement. So let's remember all of those needs today and continue praying for those who are struggling with their mental health right now. Let's pray and believe for revival in every city, in every part of our nation, and all across our world today. Our world is in need of heaven-sent revival. In our other needs this morning, Josh Moore needs to find employment. Sam McLeod needs continued prayers as he transitions to his new job in Wisconsin, and we're praying that he will be uh, connected to a good church there. George and Donna Arnold um, are expressing their desire for us to pray for 
their son who's at Bible college and has a uh, financial need, needs a miracle in his situation there. We want to continue to pray for safe pregnancies and deliveries for Sally Waller's two daughters. Uh, we want to continue praying for Matt and Michaela Perkins who are trying to start a family for Annette and Dave who have some marital problems and Annette has some health problems. Beth Wheatley's daughter Mindy and her son Jeremy and their families. We're praying for God to continue moving in their lives. Uh, Debbie Biddick has an unspoken request this morning. And of course, we never want to fail to pray for our nation and to pray for recovery from this pandemic. We want God's will to be done in the affairs of our nation. And we're trusting him with uh, the future of our nation today. God knows where we're at. And the word of God tells us that he is on his throne. And, um, and in fact, today he's high and lifted up whenever uh, Isaiah um, was dealing with the death of King uh, Uzziah. The Bible says that he saw also the Lord. And in the midst of governmental instability, in the midst of uncertainty, he said, I saw also the Lord. When I saw him, I realized that he was still on the throne. He was high and lifted up. And today he's high and lifted up in our lives, and we continue to trust him in all things. I welcome you this morning. So thankful for each of you who are joining me here this morning for prayer and devotion. And I'll just give you a heads up that um, tomorrow uh, it will be a pre-recorded devotion um, and as well as Thursday and Friday. Please go ahead and submit your needs. The devotion will air at the regular time of 7.30, but it will be recorded ahead of time for you and the needs will be posted there for you to pray about. And I realize that many of you will be traveling um, and spending time with family and friends over the holiday time. And so um, you may not be able to watch at 7.30, but I hope you'll be able to go ahead and take part in it at some point throughout your day and be able to catch up later on. But I will be bringing it to you. It'll be available to you at the regular time of 7.30 each morning. I want to read to you this morning from 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse number 3. Just one verse I'm reading today as we continue our week of thanksgiving and focusing on uh, thankfulness throughout this week uh, as we are celebrating this holiday. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. What a great scripture. Thanking God for one another thanking God for the brothers, thanking God for our sisters who are in this fight with us, and we need to be thankful one for another. I mean, think about it. How many people do you have in your life to whom you can turn for support, encouragement, advice, wisdom, or laughter? We need to be expanding um, that network of friends. You know, uh, in the ministry, it's often said that ministry is a very lonely profession or very lonely calling and uh, it is true that in ministry sometimes you feel like you have uh, very few friends I'm talking about when you're in pastoral ministry or pulpit ministry of some kind um, on a full-time basis it seems like you do have very few people that you can really turn to and open up your heart to and uh, I have a handful of those people in fact I could probably count on one hand those people that I really would trust with anything and I'm thankful for those people in my life that God has placed there. And um, it takes work to um, have those people in your life. It's relationships that we have to nurture. And, you know, sometimes we go to different people for different needs. And, um, and we don't take the same things to the same people. And that's quite all right. But if that's the case, we need to have uh, several people in our lives that we can turn to and lean on and and as I said, that takes work. It's not all on the other person, but let's seek out those people and nurture those relationships and be thankful for them and uh, show our appreciation for them being in our lives. As our faith grows, our circle of loved ones will grow as well if we will do the hard work of it. And our circle uh, should be growing deeper as it grows wider. Is that happening in your life? Is your circle growing 
uh, deeper as it grows wider, or do you just have a lot of shallow acquaintances? We need to work on uh, deep friendships of those that we can lean on uh, in times of trouble, those that we can trust to get a hold of the Lord in our time of need. And that should be happening as we practice thankfulness as a priority in our lives. And so I encourage you today, uh, during this week, for many of you, it'll be a time that you will have uh, a time to sit with your family around a dinner table or or uh, be with some close friends. And uh, it'll, it'll be a time that you can encourage a friend or a family member to grow in their faith. You can encourage them through your thankfulness for them to use their gifts to bring beauty into the world and to pursue God with all of their body and mind and soul. Tell someone this week that you're thankful for, uh, for them, thanking the Lord that he created them to make a difference in this world. We need each other. We need each other. And I want to say today that I'm thankful for each one of you. Amen. This is an important ministry, and I'm glad that you are a part of it along with me. Let's go to the Lord in prayer today. I know that God is going to hear our prayers. He's so faithful. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, and he is one that you can always empty your soul out to and trust him to care about what you're going through and to spring into action on your behalf. Let's go to him right now. Lord Jesus, I'm thankful that I know you. I'm thankful, Lord, that I have a friend on whom I can depend at all times. And I'm thankful, Lord, for the friends that you've given me in this life, in ministry, those who have stood with me, Lord, and been a friend at all times, as your word declares, a friend loves at all times. And I thank you, Lord, for those who have been so indispensable in my life and in ministry. God, I thank you for this prayer team that's been faithful. Lord, I know that they not only pray with me, but they pray for me. And I thank you for that. God, I thank you for them. I pray your blessings upon every prayer warrior this morning. I pray, God, that you would direct their lives today. Hallelujah. God, that you would help them to apply the words of this devotion today. Lord, that they would deepen their circle of, of friends as well as widening it. God, that there would be deep relationships, Lord, that we could be able to speak into others' lives and that they could speak into our lives and we could be a help one to another. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise your mighty name this morning. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I praise you and worship you today, God, because of who you are, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. You are wonderful. You are Counselor. You're my strength and my song and my shield. You're my great reward. There's nothing like knowing you. There's no satisfaction. There's no fulfillment in life outside of your presence. And I thank you, God, that I know you today. Hallelujah. I'm thankful, Lord, that I can bring my needs to you today. Hallelujah. I pray, God, for peace and comfort for Rick's family and for our church family today. Lord, as we're reeling from this loss. We pray, God, that you would comfort each heart. We pray for Kathy Hammond's family, Lord, that you would uh, just hold them up and strengthen them as they go through this valley experience and go through this time of grief today. We pray, Lord, for the families of these two more souls that passed on over this weekend due to COVID in our county. Lord, we pray today for those who are in that life and death struggle battling with cancer today. God, strengthen them to continue their fight. And we pray, God, that you would work a miracle for each one of them, for Lisa Workman, for Dwayne Lewis, for Terry's friend, for Delbert Bryant, for Kim Stinson, for Laura Lay, Caden, Jenna, and Tucker, for Evelyn Marshall, for Brother Williford and Brother Anthony Trimble. We lift up Versi Gibbs and Linda Fox and David Harris. We lift up Claire today. We lift up Robert Wicks, Lord. We pray for Michael Bolin and Diane Escher. We pray for Wanda Barnes and Ari Bowers and Josh Soberg. Lord, believing that you're touching them right now in Jesus' name. We pray for those who are battling Parkinson's disease today and other neurological disorders, God. Touch my father, I pray. Touch Tim Workman. Touch Beulah today, God. Touch Russ, Lord. Minister healing to them. We pray for John Vaughn and for Jared Eldreth and for Cooper Durr, Lord, who are all recovering from surgery in just the past few days 
God, keep your hand upon them. Strengthen them, Lord, for recovery in Jesus' name. We pray for good results and outcomes from these procedures. We pray for Jamie Shepherd, Lord. So thankful, God, that she's been able to be back in church services the last couple of weeks. We pray, God, you would touch her kidneys and her liver today. We pray for baby Elsie, God. Lord, touch Elsie today. Touch her family. Strengthen our caregivers, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray for Magnolia, Lord, that she would not have to wear this helmet for very long, God. We pray your healing touch upon her body. In Jesus' name, we pray for Tim Workman and Emily Stanley and others who are battling with diabetes today. We pray for Elder Brother and Sister Perkins, Lord, for continued healing, for strength today, for encouragement, Lord, in body, soul, and spirit, God, that they would be made whole. We pray for Renee, God, Lord, needing hip and knee surgery. Lord, you are the answer for her today. Reach down and touch her, we pray right now. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. God, you hold us all in the palm of your hand. Hallelujah. We're engraved there in those nail scars. You care about your children today. We believe you, God, to move in these needs. We pray for Karen Pratt's father, Lord, that, that aneurysm in his aorta would dissolve miraculously. We pray for Cheryl a chance for healing of her body, for Rue, God, that he would continue to receive strength and healing. For Raymond Mason today, Lord, that his lungs would clear of pneumonia of, of infection. We pray for Shirley Garner, Lord, for healing of her hip and her back. For Abel Ray, Lord, for miraculous deliverance from PKU disorder. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Robert Larmy. Lord, you're able to dissolve this blockage that's inoperable in this artery at the base of his brain. God, we pray for Bonnie Pulaski and for others who have multiple health issues, for Terry Adams' grandson, Ethan, and Leslie Pride. We pray, God, for Robbie and Kendra today who are battling COPD. Oh, hallelujah. We pray, God, your healing touch for them. We pray for Brother Marty DeLott, God, as he's uh, he's trying, God, to um, get this work off the ground there in Kabul. He's going through those early stages. We know that you're with him. You're with his wife and with his family, God, as they plant that work. Uh, we pray, God, that you would strengthen them and strengthen his body. Lord, give him healing today for his body. We pray for missionary Robin Schutz, father, who needs a heart transplant. We pray for Britt Moore for healing of his back. We pray for Britt's mother, Lord, for healing of her hip. God, for this recovery that she's in right now, God, that she would be strengthened. We pray for Marsha Moore and Terry Adams and Michael Parrott, believing for their healing today of stomach issues. We believe for healing for Caitlin and for Phil and Karen for their family issues today, God. We pray for Debbie's friend Shirley and for Charlotte Kincaid that their kidneys would receive healing right now. We pray for Bill Eldreth, Lord, to be healed of myasthenia gravis. We pray for Phyllis Robinette, Lord, that she would receive that miraculous healing touch for her eyes right now. We pray for Gary Smith and for Debbie, Lord, as they are recovering from stroke. We pray, God, for all those who are battling COVID in our uh, communities, Lord, in Stoddard County specifically today. We pray against the 371 active cases, against the 93 new cases uh, just uh, published over the weekend. Oh, God, we need you, Lord, to repel this virus. We need healing, God, today. We pray that every case would be a milder case than before. We pray, Lord, that everyone on a ventilator today would be able to come off of that ventilator. Hallelujah. We lift up these names to you today. Junior and Dorothy Deaver, our ministers in Belarus, and the minister's wife there who's on a ventilator. Brother Mickey Lewis's niece, Lord Cricket Lewis, Larry and Debbie Carter, Matt and Jaden Mitchell, James Weininger, John Garcia, Tressa Cook, Charlotte Kincaid's friend, Brother Carol Metters, Guy and Pat Metters, Linda, Brandon Pendergrass, Brent Hill's sister and father, Bishop Roy Barnhill, Mike Carter, Brenda Briney, the music director and family at Sister Carol Dixon's church, Lord, and that church family that's suffering right now. We pray for Cypress Point Skilled Nursing Center that's had an outbreak, and we pray for all of our residents who are in long-term care facilities for their protection from this virus. In Jesus' name, we pray for Carmen's cousin Bob, Lord, that you would continue to strengthen him and bring him through this battle. We pray for Jana Harville and her family, for Don Bowie, 
for Pastor Gary Butler, for Sister Zaniga, for Andy Burnett, and for Laura's friend, for Gary and Donna, and for Amy today, and for all of Susan's family members who are dealing with the virus, God. We believe for your healing touch for Jessica, who's come through uh, COVID but has lung damage. Uh, we believe for her healing. We pray for the kids at school today for a healing touch for them and for protection, Lord, for them at school and for all the staff members uh, in Jesus' name. We pray for continued recovery for all of these uh, who have suffered stroke and are recovering from surgeries and from accidents uh, in Jesus' name. You see Gerald and Nick and Brandy. You see Karen's mother today. You see my Aunt Faye. You know about Sylvia's daughter, Lord, and Cody's need and Sabrina's need today. You know all about Donna today, God, and what she's going through as she recovers from stroke. And, and Lord, you, you understand Willow's situation, and you're right there with her. We pray for Jennifer's niece, Allison, for Brantley, and for Johnny Ray, for all of these, God, for their full and complete recovery. In Jesus' name, for every spiritual need we lift up today, our family and friends that need you, God, Lori's mother and Cheryl's family, Sylvia's family, Art Chandler and Marsha Moore's children and her granddaughter. We pray for Tasha's husband and for her sister. We pray for Judy and Mike's daughter, Jennifer, Lord. We pray for Peggy Fiedler and family and Terry Adams' children who are away from you. We lift up Barbara Owens today, God. We lift up Beulah's family. We pray for Debbie's daughter, Jamie, and family and her niece today, God. We pray for Josiah and Mark and Caitlin. We believe our family are going to be saved, God. We believe our friends are going to come to you. Hallelujah. We pray for Haley, Evie, Rose, Carl, and Connor. They need your salvation today. We pray for Carmen's daughter, Grace, God, for your continued help and strength for her today for Caroline and her family, for Jennifer and Brenda's family today, for Pam Pulliam's children. Lord, you're doing a marvelous work of salvation. We pray, God, for those who are struggling with their mental health right now. We pray for revival in every community. God, that the brokenhearted will be bound up. God, that people will be delivered that are captive to sin. In Jesus' name, that those who are bruised by the cares of this life would have their needs met today. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for these who need employment, for Josh Moore. We pray for Sam McLeod, God, as he's transitioning to a new job and that he would get connected to a good church there in the Green Bay area. We pray for George and Donna Arnold's son at Bible College, Lord, work in his financial situation. We pray for Sally's daughters who are going through pregnancy right now, God, that you would keep your hand upon both of them, that their deliveries would be safe and their newborns would be healthy, God. We pray for Matt and Michaela today as they're trying to start their family. We lift up Annette and Dave this morning, God, believing for healing for Annette and for healing of their marriage today. We pray for Beth's family, Lord, especially for Mindy and for Jeremy and their families, God. We believe for salvation in that family today. We pray for Debbie Biddick's unspoken request, and we lift up our nation in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of the uncertainty that we're in right now. We know, God, that we can trust in you, and you're hearing the prayers of your people today, and for that we give you praise and thanks. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask all of these things. And Lord, I want to take a moment today and pray for any that might consider themselves my enemy. I pray, God, that your blessing would be upon them. God, that you would turn them toward you. Let there be reconciliation of any of any of us with our enemies today, God, wherever that would be possible. And according to your will, let it be today, God. We pray, God, that all would be saved, that all would come to the knowledge of the truth. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, lead us and guide us this day, God. Help us to forgive as we have been forgiven. We'll be careful to praise you for all things. In Jesus' wonderful name. God bless you today. What a powerful time of prayer. I sense the abiding presence of the Lord with us today. And I know he's moving in our needs. I'll see you again tomorrow morning, Wednesday morning, hump day devotion at 7.30 a.m. I look forward to it.